Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, and thanks for stopping by. Oprah's interview of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry wrapped on Sunday. And what's surprising to me is the surprise of everyone else of the behavior of the so-called royal family. Take a look at this exchange between Piers Morgan and Dr. Shola pertaining to his unhappiness with the royals being exposed as who they really are. Guys. You talk about the behavior of a 94-year-old monarch and you say that she should have done more. What about the behavior of Harry and Meghan who are spray gunning his family on global television as Philip lies in hospital? You might laugh, I don't think it's no. funny. I think it's piling no, hurt, it's hurt funny, on the Pierce Queen Morgan. who is already what suffering greatly from her husband's so illness. I'm going to respond to that. What I don't think is funny, I'll tell you what I don't think is funny, is the fact that you are such a disappointment. I wish to God one day you would even surprise me. You, constant, you constantly use your platform as a wealthy, white, privileged man with powered influence to oh, what a load and of nonsense, honestly. the biggest What a load of race-baiting race nonsense. And the misogynist what attacks on Meghan Markle. What a load of race-baiting nonsense. And you do nonsense. it so shamelessly. We have done That's more, we have done so more on racial issues on this show than any other so show on television. You, you're talking... Shola, you, you can keep shouting. You that the royal family has any racist undertone or actions against the first biracial person simply because you're in love with the Queen? No, you I think, I think queen, what you're doing but now... You can love okay. the Queen, but you should be able to call out actions done by the royal family when they've got it wrong. Yeah, That's I'm not going to let you trash the Queen. So one would think that he would just retreat and be quiet and listen, but no. What he does is employ the formula that has been used for centuries to discount a black person's valid complaint of systemic oppression or an injustice based on our lived experiences by finding a black man and parading him around, refuting one's experience, and once you have one agreeing with you, then all will be right as rain. I guess if it ain't broke, why fix it? Take a listen. Johnson, uh, welcome to the program. As you can Thank see, you. Uh, temperatures are running high about this. You won the Victoria Cross serving this country. You're a black man. Is this country racist? You know the royal family well. You've met many of them. Is the royal family racist? I could only speak from my experience. I personally, my time, been loads of in invitation, visiting the, the royal family, visit in Buckingham Palace, charity engagement with Prince Harry and other members of the royal family, and the way I have been treated up to date by the general public in Britain, I could never say that. So when you hear that, um, you know, that you hear Meghan Markle in particular uh, characterise the royal family as a racist institution, what is your reaction to that? My personal reaction is I don't believe it because I, I, I never experienced it. I went to the palace on numerous occasions where the, 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 the um, audience is quite diverse. Um, everyone is happy and, you know, having a good time. And the, the royal family, yeah, I mean, for me, personally, I never seen it, never experienced okay. it. Okay. Here's how it should have gone, as opposed to what you just saw. Meghan Markle, you've made it so clear a number of times on this programme, a number of times, and I understand that you've got a personal relationship with Meghan Markle or had one and she cut you off. She's entitled to cut you off if she wants to. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. OK. I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry. No. Oh, Sorry. Do you know what? That's pathetic. You can trash me, maybe not my no, own No, no, no. See I'm, you later. I'm being... So you're probably wondering why the reporter was reading Piers Morgan for filth. Here's some context. The pints, we got on brilliantly. And then I put her in a cab, and it turned out to be a cab that took her to a party where she met Prince Harry. And then the next night, they had a solo dinner together, and that was the last I ever heard from Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> and I have never heard from her again. So what happened? In she, your, uh, she, she ghosted me, Ryan. Meghan Markle ghosted did, me. Did she, do you think she just went, gone? I'm afraid, I, look, I really liked it. This is why it hurts. <laughs> no.
I bet it does. If you watch this man's past behavior, he was so vile towards them, and now we know why. You see, this video isn't in defense of Meghan Markle, who has lived and will continue to live her life comfortably passing for what is deemed outwardly acceptable in this country if you will, and who I guess is now awoken to the injustices that we face daily now that she has been subjected to the constant daily microaggressions and overt racism that we face. It's about a woman and her child being subjected to the same behavior that led to the death of Princess Diana and them seeing there is nothing wrong with what they do and they are now the so-called leaders of that country. You see, Oprah and others were surprised when someone in that family wanted to know how dark the baby would be. And I don't know why. Are you? I'm not. Also, what do you think of them parading this black man around to counter and invalidate Dr. Shola's argument and Megan's experience? where he was so bold as to say that she was lying. Oh, and as for that Piers Morgan, <laughs> he quit his own show because he couldn't have his way and continue to spew the hate he normally does. I hear Fox News is hiring. Anyway, let's discuss in the comment section. I'll meet you there. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe, like, and share. Also, turn on your notification bell and stay tuned for more. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheerios!